So if you use Android Wear previously, you may be okay with it. You may be whatever with it. You may be all about the device and not the actual software. Uh, whatever the case, it's been updated. Welcome to Android Wear 2.0. The core fundamentals of how you use it and overall day-to-day -day uses have changed a bit. So it's not gonna take like all day to get used to it, but if you're used to swiping up and using the dial on it, you'll have to, you know, unlearn a bit. So it's not that big of a deal. So you don't have the card, Google's card uh, system for notifications anymore. Um, it kind of, you know, you swipe up and you have an entire screen that just, you know, it's a notification area now. So it's kind of like, think of it as the notification shade reverse. So now you swipe up and you access that. And you can scroll down and then you have the option to clear all, which is always welcome. Also new, you have the option to access the Play Store. So previously, if you if you're unaware, Android Android where you'd have to go, um, you know, you go to hit Play Store and then it'll say access to the phone. Now you can actually access the Play Store and install apps directly from your watch. So it's always good. It's like, I didn't get this before. It wasn't ready, but you can do it now. The big thing about Android Wear 2.0 is that the watch faces are super customizable. So you have, um, they call them complications, but it's really like a, a widget for your watch. So you can um, add a couple things and there's, there's a good amount of apps in the Play Store that support it. So you can add a complication or widget for weather conditions, stock prices, near, nearby places, or your favorite contact and have that directly set on your watch face at all times. So no matter which watch face you choose, you'll always have that option, you know, no matter, oh, you know, depending on how you set it up or if you want it there. So that's always a plus. Um, you have Google's Assistant from Nougat. So now you long, if you long press, you know, it's kind of like thinking you long press the home button, you long press the, the, the crown, Boom, access Google, Google Assistant, ask it anything, and boom, and then you'll start stuff. It's not as fast, of course, you don't have the processing power that you have on a smartphone, but it's, uh, I mean, it still works as advertised, so can't go wrong with that. And believe it or not, typing on a smartwatch is not as terrible as it sounds. Now, I know uh, Apple's already had a watch OS, but I don't have an Apple Watch, so it's new to me, damn it. But you have the option of on-screen keyboard. Uh, you can draw emojis and different stuff and then draw, you know, draw letters and it'll do And then you have their uh, contextual smart reply. So based on your message, it'll Google will line up a list of responses uh, so you could just tap and go. Or you could just always say it via voice like I used to do it. So you have multiple ways of input to reply to a message now. So Google made sure to catch up on a lot of the things that they missed with uh, with Wear 2.0. It's a much better vision on Google's take for smartwatches. And you know, before I was just okay with it, it was more about the hardware, but now I think it's more about both, both combined, the hardware and software. So did Google make wearables a bit more worthwhile? You know, did this make it become a thing? They didn't but it is a much better, it's a much needed update as a, uh, you know, Android Wear came out three years ago. It's a much, um, much welcome navigation. So it's just an overall enhancement. So if you're kind of interested in it, you should definitely check it out if you can. If you already own Android Wear watch, the list of all the watches that's gonna support it are, I think the only ones that don't is maybe like the original G watch, maybe the G watch R, but everything else is on there. So you can just kind of wait for that and instead of buying a new hardware, if you're not interested on two devices that's out right now. So you can just kind of, you know, just sit, sit pretty, wait for it to come and then you can check it out and enjoy it for yourself. So based on what you've seen on Android Wear 2.0, based on what we've, we've shown you, what you've seen in the news, other videos, blah, blah, blah. How do you like it? Do you think that might be something you might get interested in? Something you might want to buy into? Or are you just going to wait for yours? Let us know. Sound off in the comments. Like, share. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and take care.